Russell Wilson, once the Wonder Boy quarterback of the NFL who led the Seattle Seahawks to a Super Bowl victory over the Denver Broncos in 2014. In that game, he racked up 206 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions, and a QBR rating of 123.1, only to have his career deflated a year later in a follow-up appearance to the Super Bowl against the New England Patriots, where he lost the game on a goal line interception. Over the following nine years, Russell Wilson had an up and down career, eventually seeing him traded to the Denver Broncos in 2022 in a blockbuster trade worth $242 million on a five-year contract, including a $50 million signing bonus, giving him an average annual salary of just under $49 million a year. This was supposed to be Russell Wilson's resurgence with a new team and a new head coach, but uh, fortunately for the Raiders fans, anyway, this did not pan out the way that the Broncos had hoped, leading to head coach Nathaniel Hackett being fired only one year after bringing Russell Wilson in. Now, the Broncos would then hire highly sought after Sean Payton, former Super Bowl champion coach himself of the New Orleans Saints, but this too would turn out to be a bad pairing, leading to sideline fights and arguments between Broncos players and Russell Wilson, and even Russell Wilson and head coach Sean Payton. Now, Coach Sean Payton is known for being very demanding of his quarterbacks, and this did not sit well with Russell Wilson. The two of them simply did not get along, and Sean Payton felt like he wanted to reset the Broncos in his own image and decided to pull rank and cut Russell Wilson from the team. It would seem as though Russell Wilson's career may have been over at this point, even though the Broncos would be on the hook of paying him an additional $80 million over two years, which allowed other NFL teams to bid for him for a low, low price of only $1.2 million per year, effectively making the Broncos pay his salary for the next two years for him to play on another team. Now, Russell Wilson would sign with the Pittsburgh Steelers, who also made a move to trade for and sign Chicago Bears starting quarterback Justin Fields, who had struggled since being drafted in the first round by the Bears and the Bears having another first round draft pick, number one overall. They decided to reset the clock and draft star quarterback Caleb Williams out of USC and get rid of Justin Fields and any potential big contract they would have to give him in the future. Justin Fields arguably played his best football since coming to the NFL under head coach Mike Tomlin. And despite the Steelers having a winning record in week seven, Mike Tomlin decided to make a change at quarterbacks as Justin Fields still showed signs of struggling, throwing the ball down the field and making smart decisions, and therefore decided to go with the Super Bowl winning veteran quarterback in Russell Wilson, who was coming off a calf injury suffered in the offseason. This was a big decision and risky at best, because if Russell Wilson turned out to be a bust with the Steelers, you would have effectively ruined both quarterbacks' confidences, which could quickly backfire on the Steelers' season. But Mike Tomlin, he's never been a guy to take the easy road. And when he makes a call, he just makes a call. And apparently he was right. In the week seven matchup against the New York Jets, who had just acquired star receiver Devontae Adams from the Las Vegas Raiders to reunite with his best friend, Aaron Rodgers in New York, Russell Wilson put on a masterclass of control of the offense, spreading the ball around, and repeatedly hitting deep shots down the field, leaving the Jets defense on its heels while racking up 264 yards, two touchdowns and no interceptions in an impressive debut victory over Aaron Rodgers and the Jets with the final score being 37 to 15, making the Pittsburgh Steelers five and two on the season and the Jets two and five. The question going forward will be, was this just a one-off victory for Russell Wilson and the Steelers, or will he help them make the playoffs and even a Super Bowl run, effectively making his career resurgence one of the greatest stories in NFL history? There's still a lot of football left to play, so the jury is out on the verdict of that one, but it'll certainly be interesting to watch. Now, on the flip side, there's a 32-year-old Devontae Adams who just got acquired by the Jets. 
He was under contract with the Las Vegas Raiders for another two and a half seasons. He may have just put the nail in his coffin for his storied career in the NFL as one of the elite receivers over the past decade. After coming to the Raiders under Josh McDaniels regime to reunite with his college best friend Derek Carr, it seemed like his career was about to reach new heights as he achieved his second best statistical year in his career with Derek Carr. And if you simply look at it in terms of touchdowns, then it was in fact his best year of his career, racking up 1,516 yards with an average 15.2 yards per catch and 14 touchdowns versus his last year he had with Aaron Rodgers in Green Bay at 1,553 yards and only 12.6 yards per catch and only 11 touchdowns. Unfortunately for Devontae Adams, then head coach Josh McDaniels turned out not to be a fan of starting quarterback Derek Carr and wanted to make a change. Only one year after extending Derek Carr, thus air unceremoniously had him cut from the team. It appeared as though Josh McDaniels had a plan to bring in seven-time Super Bowl champion and five-time Super Bowl MVP Tom Brady to make a run for a Super Bowl, under the old Patriot system anyway. But Tom Brady had decided football was no longer in his future and he promptly retired, leaving the Raiders without a starting quarterback and some quarterback shoes to fill. After fumbling around in the offseason and not making an attempt to trade up for C.J. Stroud in the draft, the Raiders settled on Jimmy Garoppolo, who had some familiarity with the Patriots system, as he was originally drafted by the Patriots and played for them for a short time. But this too would turn out to be a disaster for the Raiders as Jimmy Garoppolo was clearly not the quarterback hoped for or what they thought he would be. And this led to the infamous statements made by Devontae Adams on the sideline when he said, I have to get out of here before I lose my bleeping life. This is in reference to Jimmy Garoppolo throwing hospital balls and overthrowing him. Throwing hospital balls is when a quarterback throws to a wide receiver when he has a safety over top. And that gives the safety a clear and direct line to make a hard hit on the vulnerable wide receiver. And clearly Devontae Adams was not happy with the direction of the Raiders. So midseason, Mark Davis fired head coach Josh McDaniels and general manager Dave Ziegler on Halloween night and elevated then linebackers head coach Antonio Pierce to interim head coach. Now, Antonio Pierce brought that California, LA, Compton, grittiness and edge back to the coaching staff and the players embraced him wholeheartedly, including Devontae Adams, who would later go on in the offseason to campaign for Antonio Pierce to get the full-time coaching position. The first thing Antonio Pierce did was to bench Jimmy Garoppolo and make fourth round draft pick Aiden O'Connell the full-time starter at QB. Now it wasn't perfect, but Aiden O'Connell and Devontae Adams quickly developed a chemistry on the field and began scoring touchdowns. Despite the turmoil, Devontae Adams was able to put up 1,144 yards with 11.1 .1 yards per catch and eight touchdowns. This will go down as one of the better statistical years in his long career. But moving into 2024, the Raiders got a new general manager named Tom Telesco, who was fired by the Los Angeles Chargers the same night the Raiders put up an amazing 63 points on them, which was a great night, and Aiden O'Connell and Devontae Adams were celebrating under head coach Antonio Pierce. Now, Tom Telesco, he has never been one to move up in the draft to get a quarterback, and this proved to be the same in this year's draft, making no attempt whatsoever to move up and grab a quality quarterback in the draft. Instead, he went and got perennial backup quarterback Gardner Minshew from the Indianapolis Colts to compete for the start job with Aiden O'Connell. It was clear from the start that this did not sit well with Devontae Adams, who was really hoping the Raiders would go out and sign a quality veteran quarterback or draft one of the young stars like Jaden Daniels, who had just won the Heisman Trophy. When that clearly didn't happen, he made it clear that his choice for quarterback was none other than Aiden O'Connell. But that would not end up being the case as coach Antonio Pierce would decide to go with veteran Gardner Minshew to start the season, and it was a rough start to say the least. At the recording of this video, Gardner Minshew has four touchdowns to eight turnovers, which is not a stat any starting quarterback wants to have and certainly a stat any head coach hoping to keep his job cannot live with for long. This led to Devontae Adams to inquire about a trade to the New York Jets so that he could reunite with his favorite quarterback and longtime best friend Aaron Rodgers. 
The Raiders quickly obliged, and as soon as the Jets agreed to take on all of Devontae Adams' remaining contract, valuing over $100 million, freeing up a massive amount of money for the Raiders next season, Devontae Adams quickly jumped on a red-eye flight to New York to bunk up with his bestie Aaron Rodgers. But was this a good idea for Devontae Adams to try and revamp his career? Well, We'd have to say no. Devontae Adams has made a couple of major mistakes and wanting to leave to greener pastures only to have it turn out in disasters. You see, when he left to the Raiders, he was actually offered more money by the Green Bay Packers to stay after the departure of Aaron Rodgers to the Jets, as they had a young, up-and-coming, well-groomed quarterback named Jordan Love. The team really believed in him, but Devontae Adams didn't. So he took less money to go to the Raiders, which he thought would be a sure shot for a Super Bowl run. But as described earlier, it did not turn out to be the case. Now the Raiders are clearly in rebuild mode. So Devontae jumps ship yet again to the New York Jets, who just fired their head coach, which is speculated to be in part due to Aaron Rodgers requesting it, but the Jets had the same record as the Raiders and only had a 23% chance of making the playoffs as they were 2-4 and four on the season when the trade took place. Only six days later, Devontae Adams would make his debut in a green jersey, finally catching passes from his dream quarterback Aaron Rodgers once again, as well as dropping some in a humiliating loss to Russell Wilson and the Pittsburgh Steelers, leading to a look of frustration, disappointment, and disgust on Devontae Adams' face sitting on the sideline, a scene that was familiar in Las Vegas time and time again. It appears Devontae Adams is a poor judge of quality teams and quarterbacks and should have stayed with the Green Bay Packers, who are on track to make the playoffs while the New York Jets and the Raiders will clearly be in rebuild mode in 2025, with top 10 picks in the first round, leaving more uncertainty for Devontae Adams and most likely moving to a fourth and possibly even a fifth team before his career is finally over in the next two to three years. As the Jets will most certainly not want to pay the 33-year-old receiver $44 plus million plus next year and the same in 2026, especially when they most likely will have a rookie quarterback Back in the next season and Aaron Rodgers will be retired. So it appears Devontae Adams flame that sparked conversations of being amongst the greatest wide receivers in history is slowly coming to an end through bad decisions and impatience. It's really sad to see a player of his caliber flaming out. Most likely will never see a Super Bowl ring. Only time will tell. Will Russell Wilson truly have a resurgence and another Super Bowl ring with the Steelers? And will Devontae Adams' bright star quickly come to an end in New York? Drop your thoughts and your comments down below and make sure to subscribe and like this video.